Yo, what's going on, y'all? Feel me? Just coming in and touching with the people. You know, it's been a minute. You know, it's been about three weeks. You know, I just want to uh, give a shout out to everybody that watched these videos, man. Like I said, this is the official Max B channel. You feel me? Like I told y'all, man, we touch on a whole lot over here. We here, you know, we here trying to um, inform people that younger, the younger generation. And some people that's older than us, me, I'm 26, or it might be people older than me that might have missed the wave. So I'm here to, like, you know, um, inform people, you feel me, and all that, you know. So uh, I'm, I'm appreciative of the people that watched the last one. We did over 100, you know, uh, 100 views. Um, we need to get some more subs and all that, you know. So uh, that's probably why you ain't really been seeing me like that. I, t I told you I want to get to at least 10. You know, I appreciate all the subs and all that. You know, I appreciate them subs if we could get them. Um, you know, today's topic, you know, um, that we're going to touch on for y'all um, is, is French Montana holding it down for Max B? That's the question today. And that's the topic. So let, let's think about that for a second. Is French Montana holding it down for Max B since he's been in jail? Let's see. Mm, the answer is yes. Absolutely yes. And no. Yeah, I said it. Absolutely yes. He's holding it down for Max B. But also, he's kind of not. Um, number one, um, I'm going to touch on why he is holding it down for Max B. Number one, um... Every pro just about every project, like since Max has been in, uh, I mean, yeah, since Max been in, French got some type of feature on um, of Max, some type of unreleased material. Like usually every major um, album or mixtape, you know, he hosted the Wave Gods. Y'all should go look at that mixtape because he that was probably another one of his latest pretty decent stuff. That was a couple years ago though, but. I was, he was actually rapping, you feel me, Montana, you feel me, so, um, the Wave Guys, Max was, was hosting it, um, uh, Max was on, excuse my French, uh, the first, he was, the, the first, the first, um, voice you heard on French Montana's first album was Max B, if you, t if you put excuse my French in right now and start the album, the first voice you're gonna hear is Max B talking, you feel me, so, I mean, so, you feel me? And um, Mac, that's pretty much how French got his career, pretty much. He was Max B's hype man, you feel me? And all that, you know? So he was the DVD guy and all that, you know, around that time, you feel me? So, um, so pretty much, like, in this classic stuff, like, uh, he was on, even the, Ma uh, it was a song, uh, he did something off the Mac and Cheese 4, it was him in French. I mean, it was him, it was Max, French, and Chinks. Uh, they was on this, I think it was called Paid For. He was on that. That was, that was a classic journey. I should listen to that, too. Um, and then um, his last album, The Jungle Rules, he was on a um, song with The Weeknd. You feel me? That, on YouTube, that joint did a, at least, I forgot how many millions of views it did, but it did some views. You feel me? So, so you know, um, and then another thing, French is like, you know, um, French is pretty, like, big in the game, you feel me? Um, like, maybe not, like, I mean, maybe, like, crossing different genres, you know, like, um, you feel me? Like, French is not, he pretty much be, like, going through the pop route, you know, some, you know, mixing it with different shit, you feel me? So, it's not just strictly, you know, New York bass styles, you know, French, he hits you with one of those here and there, but for the most part, when you have French shit, he's doing shit. That cross everywhere. Like he did a song with the city girls. He did songs with Blueface. You know, um, and these are all new guys. You know, and all that. You know, so I mean, ho hopefully, you know, French keep progressing his career. You feel me to the point where Max get home. They just, you know, just a, a automatic collision. You feel me? Just, just, you know, French paved the way. You feel me? And all that. Um, so, um, so you got that, and then another thing, French, French, like, French started, he was trying to start something, you know, um, I think he was doing the Coke Boys thing, 
And that was another thing that was he that, that you can give him credit for continuing Max legacy, even though that was a French thing. It's like when Max went in, it was like when you seen French, you seen Max. You feel me? So it was like a lot of basically when Max went in, French pretty much took all Max fans. You feel me? Because you feel me? A lot of people who fuck with French, like diehard French fans, you feel me? They really off that Max shit. You feel me? So it's like, you feel me? So uh, that, that that wave it was crazy. I'd carry your career for 20 years or so. You feel me? A lot, a lot of people. You feel me? Um, so, you feel me? Um, so he did that. The Coke Boys thing, which would, 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 was a masterpiece because it's so crazy because you he had some artists with that. You know, he had the, um, he had Chinks. You know, rest in peace. Chinks was, was, was a monster. Um, you know, Cheese was in there. Cheese was a spitter, man. Y'all should go look at some of those freestyles. Classic Coke Boy freestyles all over. All Hot 97, Westwood, all that shit. You feel me? Um, you feel me? You had um, Cheese. You had um, Cheese, uh, Chinks. Um, who was it in there? Flip, Charlie Rock. But it was really those members right there. It was really basically Chinks, Cheese, um, and French, really. The other guys that was here and there, you know. Um, so, but it was a good thing. It could have been something massive. I don't know what really happened with the Coke Boys. You feel me? But um, that was something that, that was going to, you know, make French even bigger. You feel me? Like, okay, you know, he's like 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 the 50 Cent and G unit, like the JD Kiss and D block. Like, you feel me? <laughs> you understand? So it's like, like, you know, you start creating a, a bigger thing for yourself and all that. You know, um, so that was that, that's something that he was doing and that was holding the wave down when Max went in, you know, so because the wave didn't fall off. When, when French came, when from basically when Max went in, I think French dropped that cocaine convicts. Y'all should look at y'all should look into that mixtape. He was doing a lot of songs with some. Uh, Max had artists too. Before he went in, he had Mac Mustard and Al Pac. Mac Mustard and Al Pac. It was the truth. You know, y'all should listen to it. They was on a lot of French shit. I mean, a lot of Max shit. And French was doing songs with them. You know, I, he should have made them Coke Boys. I don't know why. I don't know if he French probably couldn't market them or whatever, but basically when Max went to jail, it was all of them basically recording together. You know, Al Pac, Mac Buster, French, um, Max, uh, Chinks. Basically, French was the bigger artist basically when Max left. So he was basically like the star of the, crew, of the team now. You know, it was like all he did was take Chinks and left. You feel me? He just left um, Al Pac and... And and all of the rest of the dudes I was in there. Max was running with a couple of guys before he went in. You feel me? Um, it was another dude, Hollywood Ferg. There was a couple guys, but I don't know. French, I guess, didn't really cater to those dudes like that. He should have though. He should have. He, it'd be good if if French did another um, Coke Wave type shit. You know, you got to put Mac Mustard out of pocket. You feel me? Because those, those original members and all that. Um. So, uh, uh, also, you know, he make big records, you know. I mean, it, everybody might not like him, you feel me? But, you know, that, that uh, Unforgettable song, you know, and I'm a, I'm a original. I've been fucking with the wave since, since, since it was out, like, 08, 09, and all that, and before that. So, a song like Unforgettable, like, you know, it's a cool song and shit, you know, but it's just not my wave that I would be bumping, like, on the regular and all that, you know. That's, um, it, it's very commercial, but nonetheless, if you look on YouTube, that shit is did over a billion <laughs> views, if I'm not mistaken. That shit is, like, a billion views, like, you, you feel me? So, alone, you feel me? That's crazy, you feel me? Um, so that's, that's why you would, you could say absolutely yes, and I'm pretty sure a lot more than that as well, and always shouting out Max, you feel me? Always, you feel me? That's one thing you can give you can give him you can give French, you feel me? You always shout out Max and Chinks too, but we definitely focus on Max, you feel me? And uh and why I'm gonna and then, and that's uh, that's why absolutely yes. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot more and if it is, put it in the comments section. But now we're gonna get into why why uh, slightly no. Because when French when Mac when Max was first out 
Max was a Max was a lyrical dude. Max would did a lot of a lot of styles. You feel me? Max would do a lot of different things. You feel me? Like I said, he'll make different shit for different people, for girls, for for the niggas in the hood. You feel me? For the, for the old ladies, for the for the for all for, you know all different types of stuff. Max was crossing different shit. You feel me? So it was like you, you, you so you so so much talent is was in that on that team. And it's like, um, it seems like, like French is not known right now. Like if you go up to it, like I, like I go talk to like normal random people, like, yo, what's good? Anybody yo, what's good with French? You feel me? They be like, oh yeah, French is cool. But they, they don't really know French for being a spitter. You feel me? And a lot of people that was around for 08, 09 and before that shit, the Coke wave and the cocaine city and, and the cocaine convicts and, and, um, all that shit, um, is like. We know French for being a spitter, like a lyrical nigga. French had bars, you feel me? So when you look, when you talk to people now about French, it's like they they quite they they don't believe the nigga got bars at all. You feel me? So I, it 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 will it would be nice. You feel me? A French would drop some shit where it's like okay, you you giving us that shit that from back from the wave. You feel me? We run the shit that we used to do. They used to do and all that, you know, so the bars is back, you feel me, everything is back, so you got to remind some of these dudes sometimes, because I'll I, I be talking to people like, like, I'll be listening to people rapping, I'll be like, yo, I, I, I'll be like, yo, this nigga French is probably better than this nigga, I think French is probably the most underrated rapper in the game, because um, French, French, people think French is whack, like like a normal person, maybe like, they don't, they will question him, like, um, musically, you feel me, um, I remember one time he was on first take. Um, this was a while back. Y'all should look at this up on YouTube. They would they asked French, um, it, 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 like in NBA terms, who do you compare yourself to in the game? If you was a basketball player, um, who do you, who what are your what's your basketball version of yourself in the game? He said, he said I think I'm LeBron. You know what I mean? And it was like. Some of the people that was on the show almost thought it was laughable that he said that. You feel me? But I, but to be honest with you, I think French could rap up there with a lot of these dudes. It's just he don't do it. This guy's making like pop music. You feel me? I think French could spit up there with some with some of y'all favorite rappers that y'all think you know if he really wanted to and got to the bars again. You feel me? When he was back, when he was spitting, see, when Max was around, niggas was rapping, niggas was really spitting. You feel me? You had the punchlines was in there, everything the flow was right. It was it wasn't a lot of them. He did a lot of this shit that he's doing now after Max. You feel me? Um, but I'm pretty sure Max was cool with the way he's doing it because you know the success is there, things of that nature. You feel me? So that's why I would say kinda no, because um if you if you basically max B protege, you feel me? You gotta be known for just having the waves, you know, you gotta just know for being nice, you feel me? You gotta be it gotta be no questioning all all over the board. Nobody should question your lyrical ability, you feel me? And that's the only thing. Um I wish French would um would drop some shit, you feel me? And it's been so long with the gaps and albums, you feel me? Max was dropping shit one, two, three, four, five. You remember how Max was coming with it? Max would drop six. Max would drop about five tapes in a month, you feel me? Max would drop three tapes. The shit Future was doing, Max was doing shit like that. You feel me? Like, Max would come with two or three tapes in a month. You feel me? Next month, hit you with another one. You feel me? Fuck around and do a, uh, a fucking joint mixtape with a nigga. You feel me? Singles coming nonstop. Another mixtape on the way. You feel me? French is taking two, three years in, in albums. You feel me? That, 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 I don't think you uh, represent Max B. Um, I don't, you know, but I, but he, I don't, that's why I'm, I would say no, because he, I don't think he, you know, you got to come with that heat, you feel me, and, and if you wait in two or three years, that shit got to be classic shit, like, you know, you can't come with, you can't wait two, three years, and the shit come out, and it feel like you made the shit in a month, you know, but French got some classic shit, you know, I like French Montana music, you feel me, I, that's, that's, that's like one of my favorite rappers to listen to, to be honest with you. Because that's the type of music I want to hear. You feel me? I like I like wave music. You feel me? So, <clears throat> and, and friends do that. You know, I want y'all to go check out my other channel. You feel me? Young AK. 
Um, that's my channel for randoms, for random videos and topics and stuff like that. I'm, um, I'm going to touch on some shit that's going on. And hip-hop is a big story going on, you know, going on in the hip-hop world right now, even though this is a Max B channel. But I do love hip-hop, you feel me? Um, I know there's a lot, a lot of controversy going on in the game, but I just want to let y'all know, just a little secret. Max B, there's is no paperwork on Max telling. You feel me? Max never told on nobody. Max got 75 years. You feel me? Max did post conviction relief. He did appeals. Max was doing the White House gov trying to get petitions. You feel me? To get out. You feel me? Max took his time like a man on the chin. You feel me? And 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 and, and went through all these avenues, the petitions. Fucking um, trying to get in contact with Barack Obama for a pardon. Also with the president, also with our president right now. Uh, and then, um, what's the name? Like, he got um, major celebrities vouching for him. Kim Kardashian, I believe, is trying to work on his case. You feel me? Um, is a, a, along with a lot of other, other high-profile people, is, is trying to work with Max, you know, you know, to get him out, you feel me, and it's been working, Max got 75, he got, and then something worked out with his case, where he was, he ended up copping out to something else, taking another plea, uh, where it ended up knocking it down to, I think, 20, then I believe he just got it down to 12, Max just got 10, so it was two left, Max could be home any, any, any day now, you feel me, Max did things the right way, you feel me, so, I mean, that's all I could say, you feel me, um, Free Max, you feel me? Free Max until he's free, you feel me? Um, I didn't give y'all a song of the day. No, um, let me let me just, let me try to just get something down for my song of the day for y'all. What's my song? I, I got something for y'all. I want y'all to listen to this song, The Greatest, Max B, The Greatest. That's probably one of my favorite songs for Max, The Greatest, you feel me? Um... That's one song. I usually give something for the ladies. I'm trying to figure out what's that song for the ladies. I'm trying to give y'all today. Hmm. Let me see what I can give y'all right now. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good one. That's a hard one. Cause I want. I'm thinking of this song, but it's so exclusive. I'm thinking I should wait for the weekend to come up with a song with, with a song like that. That song is just way too wavy to be giving that shit out on Thursday evening. You feel me? <laughs> Might have to hit y'all, hit y'all with that with that song. I'm trying to give y'all a good song for the ladies. Damn, I right, I got y'all. Um, damn, it's so exclusive. It's just, it's just, it's just, I, I can't just be giving these these classics out just like this. Yeah. Um. You know what? Fuck it. I'm. I want y'all to listen to Porno Music by Max B. You feel me? That's for the ladies tonight. You feel me? I'm telling you, listen to that man. Just, I hope your man is close near you because when you once you once you listen to Max B, that porno music, man, the women don't know how to act when that porno music come on. That's that's all I'm gonna let you know. You know, so um, I thought I'd hit y'all with a little video before before um, I shut it down and all that because it's been three weeks and they y'all gave me a hundred views and all that and I appreciate that. So I thought I'd give y'all a little bit of time today. I want y'all to take it easy, stay wavy. You know we repping Long Island. Shout out to the whole Long Island. You feel me? We from Hempstead, with Hempstead and all that with it. Shout out to the whole Hempstead. Shout out to Uniondale. Shout out to Freeport. Shout out to Roosevelt. You know, um, and, and just keep it like that. You feel me? The whole Long Island.